Hi guys, thought I'd try something a bit different for a change. Um, go into charity shops quite regularly just to see what's available, see if there's anything I can get for my grandchildren to play with. So I thought I'd do a little series of items that I find in charity shops and whether they're any good or not. Basically it could be anything that's been pre-owned and somebody's decided they don't want any more. So they've taken it down the charity shop to get rid of it. Um, from my point of view that means you've got a 50-50 chance. It might be something interesting. Uh, and it might work and it might not. Very simply they might have dumped it there. Or they might have been noble people who thought we finished using this. Let somebody else have some fun. Anyway, today I picked up this tow bar, or two bar, T-O-B-A-R, air pump racer. It looks like it's pretty well complete. It's even in the original box and packaging. So we shall open it up and see if it's any good. Well, there we are. That's the car. That's the air pump. Instructions are on the outside of the packaging. And there's even a little troubleshooting guide in case it doesn't work. So the next thing to do is take it out in the kitchen I should think and see if we can get it to go. I might just try it out, put the tripod on the camera and just try pumping it up before we do that. Right, the instructions say, quite simply, stick that in the back of there. Aha! Well, there's our first failure, the pump doesn't appear to do anything. So we'll have to take the pump apart, see if we can improve on that. Right, bit of a failure that. Had a look at this pump and there's nothing I can do to take it apart without breaking it to actually um, fix the seal in it because that's doing absolutely nothing at the moment. So we went to stage two, good old car foot pump with an adapter on the front. Held that on there and pumped it up and I can actually get some pressure into the valve or into the reservoir. But it looks like the next problem, and I'll have to do some close-up on this. Uh, the valve there works when you turn the tyre. There's a little um, cog in there. Cog's not the right word, but that'll do for now. Which, as you turn it, it opens the valve. You hear that move. That pushes a piston up there, which should continue to turn the wheels. But what's actually happening is all the air is being expended in one go because it looks to me, and as I say I'll have to do some close-ups, as if the crankshaft has actually come off the piston. Uh, not the crankshaft, the push rod has come off the piston. So even though the piston moves, it's not actually turning the crankshaft via the push rod. So there's a bit more work to do there if I want to make it uh, a working model. I doubt whether I will be able to though, because it looks like there's been lots of glue put in all sorts of places to try and hold it all together. So it might be a dead loss, although it's a fun little car and there is a couple of wheel or four wheels there obviously with a gear on it that I could potentially stick an electric motor on the back and uh, just make it run. But I was more interested in seeing if I could get this um, pneumatic engine to work, because it's nice and simple. Another reason for wanting to see if I can get it to work is I picked up this little fella in a charity shop quite a while ago which uses the same uh, pneumatic engine, air engine. Um, and I wanted to see if I could get that one working and I was hoping that pump would work with it. But same problem, um, I can pump air into there, the valve opens and all the air disappears in one go. So. Looks like they're both out of luck, although they might be handy little bases for doing something else with. 
but I'll see if I can get that motor apart and see if there's any way of fixing the connecting rod, push rod, back onto the piston. Right, I've stripped the bodywork off it. There's the bits and pieces, set of screws. So here we have the internals, air reservoir, air engine or pneumatic engine as I like to call it, and the back wheels, a nice big cog on the back wheels there. And so say, see if we can do some close up on this and uh, so you can see how it works. Right, close up as I can get. You can see the gear here on the shaft of the back wheels turns the gear just there. And that gear's got a cam on it. You can just about see it moving. And that pushes a valve there which allows air to flow from the reservoir down there through the little valve back up this tube here into this side where there's a piston there and a connecting rod which let's see if we can get close in again is that focusing? I think so and that connecting rod should be pushing on a camshaft there, flywheel, getting all the words wrong. So the piston should be going down, that turns that flywheel, that flywheel obviously is connected to that gear, that gear should turn the wheels. But because that connecting rod is not connected to the piston, that may be the reason it's not working. Not 100% sure, but uh, I'll see if what happens if I undo these bolts there. Well, I can see what's going to happen there. That's just going to release that from the bodywork, but I don't think... Oh, there's some, some screws in there. I doubt whether it'll come apart for me to work on it, but we'll try. Well, that was a bit of a surprise. Took the screws out of the back of the, um, what can we call it? Well, cylinder assembly, I suppose. And where I thought the push rod had actually come loose, not connected to the um, piston head at all, it's not supposed to. It just pushes in and out on it. So that isn't the reason it's not working. I would guess there's just uh, a few air leaks in there and it's just not not working well enough. Uh, at least from this side you can just about... How close can we get? Not getting close enough to be able to see that. Can we see that valve move? Oh, I don't know if you can see a little black mark there going in and out, out of focus, but that's the valve that allows the air to flow down there from the reservoir, reservoir through that pipe, through the valve there, which is operated by that cam on the wheel. That's the air flow up there, into there. That pushes the piston, which isn't going to flow down there easily. That pushes the piston down. That should make that. Yeah. You can see that just about turns the wheel. So, a bit of a shame. I'd love to have seen this working. Right, 
hopefully. I've got it set to macro mode now, so we should get a better view of the bits and pieces. Where's my pointing stick? Right, that shaft there is the one that operates the valve in the plastic tube there. So, cog turns, there comes the cam. Cam pushes the valve, so the valve opens, lets the air flow through. Air comes from the reservoir down that tube, valve opens, air flows around that tube into there. The air pushes the piston down and that pushes the what I would call con rod which should turn that flywheel around. Turning that flywheel around turns that gear gear turning should be turning that gear which should make the back wheels go but it's just not quite working it does one puff and that's it which is a bit of a shame Alright, even though this isn't working very well, I'm going to give it a try. Um, it's supposed to do something like 50 feet. I think it'll do about 3 feet if I'm lucky. the valve and away it goes. <laughs> what was that? Five puffs? We'll give it another go. See if we can get more than five puffs out of it. Four puffs. I think we can establish that it's no longer going to be doing 50 feet. Give it one more go. Yeah.
yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, time for a summary. Was this charity shop gold or was it charity shop garbage? Well, as I said at the beginning, you've always got this 50-50 thing. Have people taken it to the charity shop because they, they finished playing with it. It was good fun, but they're going to let somebody else have a go. Or have they taken it to the charity shop because it's broke, it doesn't work, and they're just dumping it. Well, I think we can say, in this case, um, this is one that was dumped. Looks good. Uh, I would dearly wish that it did work, because I love the idea of this air engine, pneumatic engine, um, just operated by a valve and a cam, and shooting off down the road for races over 50 feet, as it says on the box. Um, but it doesn't work. The pump doesn't work at all. So that's your first failure. The car itself, it sort of works. I had big ideas about what was wrong with it. I uh, thought that the um, push rod had come off the piston, but nope, that wasn't the case. It was designed to be like that. Um, without using the proper pump, I, I can't actually check that and put enough air into the reservoir but I would guess that's a tiny little thing and it says 15 pumps. I'm using a car foot pump and I'm putting a, about 20 to 30 PSI in there and it's doing about five puffs and it's out of air. So, as I say, ideally wish it had worked because I'd have loved it, um, but it doesn't, so shame. And as I say, I picked that one up in a charity shop quite a long time ago which uses the same principle um, obviously a lot smaller, uh, and that one doesn't work either. So, fun looking cars, grandchildren might like to play with them, but as far as working um, engines go, they don't work. So, I suppose that's got to be charity shop garbage, which is a shame. Still, you got to find out, haven't you? They were cheap. Uh, English money, £1.50 and 50p. So if they worked, they were fun. If they don't work, well, the kids can still play with them.